Hey guys, welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name's Amanda. Welcome. Um, on my channel, I do a good bit of cleaning motivation, um, but I throw some day in the life grocery hauls of what's for dinner in the mix sometimes. And um, I hope you enjoy the content. If you're new and you like what you see, please don't forget to subscribe, like the video, and comment. I enjoy hearing from you guys. I really do. I thank you for being here. And today's video is a little bit, I'm doing laundry, straightening up the bathroom, cleaning the living room, um, just kind of all over the place. But I thank you guys for being here. I'm sorry. I know it's been, usually I try to have a video up Monday or Tuesday, but this week's been kind of busy. So I appreciate your patience. I hope you're all doing fantastic and having a wonderful week and I appreciate each and every one of you. So guys, we've come to the part of the video where I share the devotional, and this devotional is actually from a couple of days ago, but I wanted to share it with you guys, and it's titled, The Gift of a Child, and it's from the Pocket Bible Devotional for Women by Norma Rossio, linked to Not Affiliated, and the verses are from Psalms, Proverbs, Luke, Matthew, and Mark, and it reads, what is the greatest gift next to Jesus that you have ever received from God? I remember mine was the day my child was lying in my arms, defenseless and at the mercy of my care. I realized that from then on, my heart would live outside my body. The day God entrusted you with one of his children, you got one of the greatest blessings and responsibilities. Everything changes, your lifestyle, sleep patterns, way of seeing and making decisions just so this child can know God. And as I was reading this devotional, and I love, I love the whole Bible, but I really enjoy the book of Proverbs, you know, as you read through, and there's a lot of, um, a lot of wisdom from Solomon, and that, as a parent, is one of the, the most important things to me, and I'm sure it is to, to the others that are listening as well, but I often think on the verse in Proverbs 22, 6, where he says, Train up a child in the way he should go, and when he is old, he will not depart from it. And I try to keep that on my mind always, as well as, you know, in Acts, where he tells us, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved, and thou house. I try to memorize those scriptures and just keep them in mind and I understand I'm not sure you know there could be somebody listening who raised their child in the ways of the Lord and at this moment they're not living that but I, I we just have to trust and we believe and I've seen people like that that were raised up and they they've fallen away from the Lord but I believe that 
he will get their attention again. You know, that his his word doesn't go out void. He doesn't lie. It's truth in everything that he says in his word. And it's just, it's a blessing and it is a big responsibility. And I think as parents, I know I just want my boys to to know the Lord and to be saved and be godly young men that, that God would have them to be. That is my goal. Nothing nothing else matters more than that. And I just, I appreciate you guys letting me share these devotionals. It, it blesses me to share them with you. And I'm thankful for each and every one of you. And I hope I can just be an encouragement to you guys. And just, I just want to point to Jesus. That's that's who it's about. Reach me from all my I have no fear, there ain't no doubt He's by my side, He shines His light upon me And when I'm weak, He's always strong His love for me will lead me home Lead me home To the Father shining for you and me just open your heart open your eyes he will show you his might and glory hello i slip i never fall he lifts me up and turns his face towards me to the Father's house. I'm in the Father's house. I say a prayer and He takes me
So guys, that's the end of the video. I thank you guys for being here. I appreciate you. Um, it just means, it means a lot to me. I'm thankful for each and every one of you. And I hope that you have a fantastic rest of the week, a wonderful weekend. And Lord willing, we'll see you in the next one. Be blessed.